southern part of Germany uh, and also West Germany at the time. And um, I used to be like I'm a pretty spoiled kid when I, until I was until my grandparents uh, both passed away. When I was like 12 years old, my father moved out. And um, at that point, I got a little bit, you know, rebellious as a teenager during puberty. And at 13, my mother decided she couldn't take it any longer by herself and sent me to a boarding school. quite a bit different coming from an only child background and then all of a sudden having being forced into a environment with a lot of other kids that are your age having everything for myself all my life all of a sudden living with four other people in a room at least and um, sharing a bathroom sharing a shower having to keep an eye on your things at all times so that nobody would steal it. So I went to boarding school and I stayed a loner. I didn't have many friends. I didn't have any friends, just people that I would get a little closer to, but it, um, I just, it's not in my character that I let people come you know, close to me because I'm always, it's hard for me to trust or give trust to people. stayed a loner and I started playing because I had nothing else to do except study and school or then do my homework so I started playing basketball by myself we had no team in boarding school there were no team sports nothing organized just two hours of sports during school time and the rest was up to yourself so we had no team sports in the school so I played by myself for hours, shooting hoops, like I said, and, and um, in order to sub, you know, to supplement my or to get better endurance for the basketball, I started running. So I ran around the lake that was near the school, and um, I also didn't eat very much because I hated the food that they had in the cafeteria. So I lost a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight. I went, when I went, when I w came into boarding school, I was maybe like, like 200 pounds, okay, close to 200 pounds at um, 5'10", 5'11". And uh, like a year later, when I was like 14, 14, 15 years old, I was down to 120. <laughs>
also had a weight room at the um, right next to the basketball gym, like a really basic weight room. We had like a we had a bench set up and um, no power rack, no nothing, just benches and where you could do flat bench press off, like a multi bench, um, a pull down that had no bearings on it, just the bar would, you had to put plates on it and um, this apparatus would slide up and down a rail but with no bearing so it was complete crap. I was, so I went in there and at that time we had students there from Hungary, I think they were Hungarian. And one of them left a, um, a flex magazine in the weight room. And I came in there by myself and I found this flex magazine. And it had Kevin Levroni on the cover. And at that time I was, you gotta see, I was very lean. I'm still, I was just as lean as I am now. I was really, but, but freaking skinny, okay? You could see my, the rib cage, my rib cage on my back. Yeah? That's how that's how skinny I was. You could see my ribs on the on my backside, and um, I think when I was walking, okay, my ass cheeks didn't even touch. So I found this flex magazine. And I saw Kevin Levroni on the cover. And I saw him. And I was like, what the fuck? You can be this lean, because I enjoy being lean. You can be this lean, but so muscular. I didn't I didn't know that before. I saw I thought like bodybuilders were like like beefy, chubby dudes, okay? And I didn't like that look. But basically I was I think I was looking at strong man guys, okay? Then I said, that's what I'm gonna look like, okay? One day I'm gonna be a professional bodybuilder. And in, in that moment, okay, when I found that magazine, I completely threw away all the passion that I had for basketball. I completely threw out the running and everything I had, my whole heart, my whole being, okay, was about turned into being a professional bodybuilder one day.